Osteoporosis basically refers to a thinning of the bones. Um, it's often called the silent disease because most people who have it don't realize that they do. Um, and it's only when they have a, a fall and they fracture a bone that they suddenly realize that they've got thin bones. And it's a major problem in Australia. Over a, a million uh, Australians are thought to suffer from osteoporosis. It predominantly affects older individuals, in particular women over the age of 50. Our study is the largest genetic uh, study to ever be done on osteoporosis. So we looked at the genomes of 150,000 individuals um, and we found 153 new genes that were associated with risk of osteoporosis. That's really significant because it provides the medical community with many new um, targets for drugs that will be developed to um, help prevent osteoporosis and to treat osteoporosis. So there's a, a big problem in um, the pharmaceutical community at the moment in that most drugs that are developed never actually make it to market because they simply don't work. Um, and kind of the best strategy that you can um, do for developing a new drug is to take one of these genetic findings and target a drug towards those genetic findings. Something like osteoporosis, so that's actually a highly heritable disease. So um, it's roughly about 80% due to people's genetic makeup. So the, the dream is that in the future, we'll be able to um, predict the risk of somebody getting osteoporosis by looking at their genome. Now out of that 80%, currently we can predict about 15% looking at a person's gene. So we're quite a long way off, um, but the dream is in the future, we'll be able to, to do a good job in that prediction. We're currently um, performing an even larger study on half a million um, participants from the same cohort. Um, and our preliminary analyses suggest that we're going to identify about 800 or so genes. So this will be um, by far the largest ever genetic study of osteoporosis and our preliminary findings are really exciting. These sorts of large scale studies just can't be um, achieved by one investigator. So on this particular project, we um, had many scientists from many different countries. So from the USA, from Canada, um, from the UK, from the Netherlands, um, all collaborating together to, to drive forward science.